Hello, everyone, and welcome to Brian's Two Cents. So today I thought it would be fun to go through um, our Christmas uh, Christmas movie collection that we have. Not just movies, but specials, animated specials, animated short, like half hours, uh, shows um, from over the years. Um, just a whole collection of Christmas, uh, Christmas movies, shows, specials. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I probably have about 25 of them, so let's just go ahead and not waste any time and get started here. So, first up, classic movie from the 80s, we have Gremlins. I have the special edition here, version with all kinds of commentaries, behind the scene things. So, yeah, everybody knows Gremlins. This is, uh, everybody loves that character. Not so much these characters. Um, but Gremlins is just a really fun movie with a lot of great Christmas atmosphere. Um, next up, a really old school movie that me and my wife really enjoy, and that's Holiday Inn. I believe this was from 1942. Uh, Bing Crosby and, uh, Fred Astaire by Irvin Berlin. Um, yeah, this is also uh, the special edition has some some bonus features on it, but um, this is a really fun, sort of humorous movie. Um, there is one part of this movie that my wife and I cringe at every time we watch it that we kind of wish was not there, but it is, and it was made in 1942. So, um, but other than that, we really enjoy this movie. Very fun, um, enjoyable old school movie. Uh, next up. We have one that's become a classic over the last 10 or 15 years, and that, of course, is the Polar Express. My five-year-old son loves it. My wife and I love it. We were watching it long before he uh, came into the picture. This is just, um, whether you're young or old, this is a movie that just really gets you in the feels in a lot of ways. It kind of reminds you of, of uh, you know, believing is what this movie's all about, and and not everything, you know, it's not always about what you see is not always believing, basically. And uh, you got to have faith. So, yeah, it's just Tom Hanks does a masterful job with this movie, playing so many different characters. It looks fantastic. The Polar Express, an absolute Christmas classic. Um, next up, we got uh, this is a, a show I grew up on, a Christmas special. And that, of course, is Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The animated one from 1965 or 66, I believe. Boris Karloff uh, voicing the Grinch and uh, the, is also the narrator. Um, this is a deluxe edition, so it also has some special features on it. This year, I would say this is my my son's favorite. One. He's watched this about eight times so far, and we're not even halfway through the month. But, uh, yeah, he's really come to like this movie this year. Um, but yeah, I mean, what can you say? I grew up on it, watched it my whole life. So it's just a really great 30 minute special. Um, just a really good Christmas uh, special. Um, next up we have this, um, we have this pack of all kinds of Christmas specials. So the original Christmas classics, limited keepsake edition, seven holiday favorites. So you got Rudolph, you got Frost, you got Santa Claus is coming to town. Those are the big three. And then Little Drummer Boy, Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, Cricket on the Hearth, and Frosty Returns. And then there's also a bonus holiday music CD by uh, Burl Ives himself. So this is a really this is a really great collection, which I think we picked up about 10 or 12, 15 years. I want to say it was at the late 2000s, like somewhere 2008 to 2011, somewhere in there. But this is, I mean, obviously... These three in particular are all-time Christmas classics. I mean, my wife and I just love them. My son loves them. Um, yeah, what can you say? He's really, last year it was all about this guy. This year, like I said, it's more about the Grinch with him, but he still really likes Frosty, of course. So that's a great collection to have. Um, yeah, because I'm sure it's not available anymore. Another uh, Christmas special, of course, you got to have a Charlie Brown Christmas. This is the remastered deluxe edition here. Um, also includes some special features. Not a lot, but it does have a nice feature right about the making of the special there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, a Christmas miracle, the making of a Charlie Brown Christmas, which is really interesting. Um, but yeah, what can you say? I watched this on CBS every, or whatever, I think it was CBS mostly, every year when I was growing up, and 
had to have this on DVD, an absolute must watch. Love the peanuts. Um, let's see, next up, we've got Home Alone from 1990, another Christmas classic with Macaulay Culkin. Um, yeah, what can you say? Home Alone is uh, another one of those movies that it just becomes a Christmas class. There's so much, there's so much comedy, but also like emotion in this movie. It really works on a lot of levels. You know, John Candy makes a, a kind of a funny uh, cameo in this movie. Um, the two, the two thieves here, Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern, are really funny, really good in this movie. Um, yeah, what can you say? Home Alone. Um, by John Hughes, just a great, great Christmas movie. And then, of course, we also have to have Home Alone 2, Lost in New York from 1992. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a really good one, too. I do, a, myself, I do prefer the original a little bit more because it has a little bit more of that that cozy, homey sort of comfort uh, movie, Christmas movie. This is, this is obviously bigger sets and probably a bigger budget. It takes place in New York. It's still really good. Still has a lot of the same actors, obviously, as the first movie does. These are the only two we have. These are the only the two we want. Uh, I know there's a three and a four, and there might even be a five coming out. I don't even know. I don't. But he he's not in any of those. This is the last one that he was in because of his age and and stuff. And uh, but um, and he probably just didn't want to do them. He probably read the scripts and like, yeah, no, I'm out. So <laughs> I'm not really sure. But yeah, this is also a great Christmas movie as well. The The first two Home Alones are classic. Obviously, another all-time classic, White Christmas from 1954, the Irvin Berlin's anniversary edition. What can you say about White Christmas? It's been done by, it's, you know, it's been on TV. It's been made into plays to theater productions, which we've all, me and my wife have also seen musicals. It's just a fantastic movie. Danny Kaye and Ben Crosby have great chemistry in this movie. And then you throw in Rosemary Clooney and, um, Vera Ellen, just just those four just have great chemistry. They're enough alone for this movie to be great. And then you get the setting up in Vermont and everything. It's just a very fun, um, and I think a pretty funny uh, Christmas movie with a lot of uh, a lot of nostalgia for me and my wife. Also, another old time Christmas classic, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, the original. I believe this is nineteen forty seven. Um, Edmund, Edmund, uh, Maureen O'Hara, Natalie Wood, Edmund Gwen, Gwen. Um, yeah, this is, this is our preference for Miracle on 34th Street. I know a lot of people like the 1994 one with Richard Attenborough. That one's good too. We've seen it, but I don't know something about these old time, these older movies that I really like. My wife does too, but yeah, this is just, and this also, of course, um, it has a lot of special features on it, the commentaries and as well as some documentaries. I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, just got to have Miracle on 34th Street. Um, this is something more that we got from my son, but we enjoy it too. Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. We have seen Once Upon a Christmas too, but we actually have Disney Plus, so we watch it on there. But we do this one we do have on DVD, Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. It's really cute. Very good Christmas atmosphere in it. My son loves it, especially a couple of years ago. He still really likes it. He just watched it the other day. It's a really cute, um, really cute Disney Christmas special. This is a movie a lot of people probably don't know about. It's kind of a Christmas comedy, rated R Christmas comedy, The Ref, um, with Dennis Leary, Judy Davis, and Kevin Spacey. Um, hysterically funny by ABC TV. Keeps the laughs coming by news. We get really is. I mean, it's got a lot of. It's rated R because of the language. Um, but Dennis Leary's great in this movie. Um, it's just a really funny um, Christmas movie with the in laws and everything that all the comedy that goes with that. And then you basically get this guy that tries to tries to hold this family hostage ends up being driven nuts by all the fights and everything they have. It's just a really good movie. I would check out the ref if I would. And it all takes place, of course, on Christmas Eve. Um, another, another movie we have that's a classic, uh, the Santa Claus, the original with Tim Allen, um, widescreen special edition. Um, I don't know if I, my wife might've seen the other two. I haven't, I've only seen this one. This is the only one we own, at least for the time being. I heard the second one's really good too. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a Christmas classic that we watch every year. Um, here we go. 
good stuff. And then my wife and my favorite Christmas carol. There's a lot of renditions of a Christmas carol, but ours is our favorite one is with Alistair Sim from 1951. Um, I think he does the best job as Scrooge. Um, him and then I next I would probably go with. Um, oh, why can't I think of his name now? Um, George C. Scott from the 1984 version. I really like that one. I got to get that on DVD. We don't have that one yet. But this one is a really good rendition. It's obviously in black and white. It's from the early 50s. But Alistair Sim just does an amazing job. It's one of the great performances, um, not just to Scrooge, but one of the great performances in cinema. This also has some special bonus features on it. So, yeah, just a, obviously a classic. Another classic, of course, It's a Wonderful Life from 1946 with Jimmy Stewart and Donna Reed, Frank Capper's. We have the two-disc collector set. Um, it has both the black and white and the colored version. We prefer the black and white version. The colored version just doesn't feel or look right to us. Um, you can just kind of tell that it wasn't actually made in color. The black and white version, I guess, just feels more authentic to us. Um, like, if you kind of look at these... You can't really see it too well, but just looking at that compared to that, this just kind of looks like they just zapped color and really didn't. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but uh, this has got a lot of unforgettable special features as well. The making of It's a Wonderful Life, a personal remembrance, a couple of great documentaries that I have watched. Everybody knows It's a Wonderful Life, one of the great feelsy movies of all time. And then, of course, a more, much more recent movie we have is Elf. Uh, my son was pretty much obsessed with the book for the last few years on this, and we really enjoy the movie as well. Um, Will Ferrell and James Caan in this movie. Um, yeah, what can you say? Everybody knows Elf. It's just another great Christmas, uh, you know, Christmas humor, Christmas comedy movie is what I'm trying to say. Um, as we continue, we still got more to go here. One of my wife's favorite movies growing up, and it's grown on me as well, and that's Prancer from 1989 with Sam Elliott, Gloria Sleachman, and Abe Bogota. Um, this is also another really just great Christmas atmosphere kind of movie. Good performances. We're big fans of Sam Elliott. Um, then it just kind of leaves you um, just kind of a magical Christmas movie. It kind of, like the end of this movie is really, it feels really magical and just kind of leaves you with a good good feeling. So yeah, if you haven't seen Prancer, definitely check this one out. It's a very good movie from the late 80s. And then I just have, <laughs> this is just the the Christmas with the Simpsons. It's got four or five different episodes um, from the show. Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire, which is the, the first show ever made for the Simpsons on its own. Mr. Plow, Miracle on Evergreen Terrace, Gift of the Magi, and She of Little Faith. So um What's funny is I have most of these with my box or with my um, my seasonal box sets. So I think I kind of got this just I was part of um, some other DVDs that I ordered online and, and ended up coming with it. So it's kind of like, OK, whatever. Um, another one I grew up on are the Garfield the holiday celebrations. Now, obviously, for this, I'm talking about the Christmas one, um, a Garfield Christmas. This is another one I grew up with. The other two are really good, too. I really like the Halloween special, and the Thanksgiving one is good. But to me, the Christmas one is definitely the best. I've always been a big fan of Garfield. Grew up with them in the 80s and through the 90s. Um, and the Christmas one is just very funny. It was an every year watch for me and my brothers growing up in the 80s and all the way through the 90s, basically. Another Christmas special. Um, another version of A Christmas Carol, and this, of course, is Mickey's Christmas Carol. Um, it's also got some other, some other animated shorts with Mickey and the Disney, like Yodelberg and some other things before you get to the actual Christmas Carol with, um, Scrooge McDuck here. And, uh, yeah, this is just a great, a really cute Disney, uh, rendition of a Christmas Carol. Um, that another one I grew up with again, I remember it being on TV and, um, must watch every year. And then another, yet another rendition that I really liked, The Muppet Christmas Carol from 1992, I believe. Um, again, I grew up, you're going to hear this a lot, but we grew up with The Muppets. It's just a generation that we grew up with. So this is my favorite Muppet movie out of all of them. Some of the other ones are good. The original Muppet movie, The Muppets Take Manhattan, The, the Great Muppet Caper. Those are all good, even... Even Treasure Island to a certain extent. Um, but this is our favorite. It's definitely my favorite. It just 
it's just so fun and so there's a lot of comedy to it and also a lot of heart great songs and michael kane as scrooge does a great job as well he's probably my third favorite actually of playing scrooge after alistair sim and george c scott so muppet christmas carol then i got a movie that i've never heard anybody else talk about it's from the like 1984 i think i think it was a a made for tv movie possibly but it's called the night they saved christmas with art carney and Jacqueline Smith, Paul Williams as well. Um, I don't know. I grew I grew up with this. I remember this being on every year on TV in the 80s. And I just love this movie. I had to get it on DVD. My wife had never seen it before. She watched it. She enjoys it. I enjoy it. It really kind of explains the mystery of Santa Claus and everything. And, you know, again, kind of like the Polar Express, don't lose don't lose faith and belief in Santa Claus and the representation of Christmas. If you haven't seen this movie, definitely check it out. I'm sure you can still get it on DVD. The Night They Saved Christmas. Just a fantastic, uh, underrated Christmas movie. And we're going to do the bottom now. Just a couple left. Uh, another holiday special short, and that's Twas the Night Day, Twas the Night Before Christmas, another Rankin Bass production. Um, Rankin Bass did a lot of these, obviously, back in the 60s and 70s. I think this one's from the late 60s or 74, so it's a little bit after Rudolph and Frosty and the rest, narrated by Joel Gray. Um, Yeah, this is just really cute, really fun with the mice and the humans and kind of pissing Santa Claus off, basically, and they have to make try to make amends. Um, It's just a really cute half-hour holiday special. And then finally, oh, wait a minute, I'm, I got a couple more yet. We got Scrooged with Bill Murray. Um, this is obviously a comedy, a, kind of a, I don't know if it's a riff, but kind of a comedy takeoff of the original Christmas Carol. But we're big fans of Bill Murray, a side-splitting comedy smash. Um, this is just a really fun version of it. Bill Murray does a great job. My wife's actually not the biggest fan of this movie. She really likes Bill Murray, but um, it gets a little ridiculous at the end, she says, and I kind of agree with her, but I still really enjoy this movie. It's really fun from the late 80s. I think 88 it came out. Uh, Scrooge is really good. And then finally, last, but certainly by no means least, one of the best comedy movies of all time, not just the best comedy Christmas movie, but one of the co- best comedies, period. And that, of course, is Chevy Chase and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And once again, we have the special edition version. So we have some featurettes and uh, commentaries and things with Beverly D'Angelo and Chevy Chase. And I mean, if you don't know, this is just a, this is just one of the great comedy Christmas movies. It's fantastic. It's that it's the best national lampoons movie, in my opinion, with Chevy Chase. I um, really like the original two national lampoons vacation where they go to Wally world. But this one for, for both me and my wife, this is definitely our favorite. So, so yeah, that's our collection guys. That's what we have. Um, like I said, I'd still like to to add the Christmas Carol from 1984 from George C. Scott. Um, but go ahead and comment down below what we're missing, what you think we should have in our collection that you have. Um, other Christmas classics that we didn't mention here, whether they be recent or from 75 years ago. Um, like this video, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And please subscribe to my channel as well for the, for uh, great content that I'll have coming out after the New Year. So thanks for watching this Christmas uh, holiday Christmas movie collection. And happy holidays to you and yours. Thanks for watching. Bye.